So we found the water. We did find the water. So we're gonna go, first we're gonna go for a kayak. That'll kinda ease us into the 72 degree water. Joe gets very cold in a cold swimming pool. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Sorry that I can't look at the camera. Please don't look at the camera because you're driving. driving. Yes. So we're on our way. We're on our way, I'm so excited. We're on the road. We've been on the road for what, like two and a half hours I would say? Two and a half hours or so. We got a little bit of a later start than I really wanted to. I wanted to be out by about 10.30, but. But this is new. I think we'll get the hang of like getting packed and out the door. You know, we'll, we'll make that better, but. Well, part of the first problem time. was that we had a bicycle rack that the old owner gave us. It was scary though. And I did not like it. I didn't like the way the bikes rattled around. I didn't like how long it made us. So we had to make a last minute change and we ended up strapping the bicycles just into the bed. And uh, that changed things up. Also, I had a bunch of work that I had to get done before we leave. No pressure. And so everything just took a little bit longer. But I think, yeah, in the future, you know, we'll be we'll be out the door a little bit quicker. We'll get better at this. You, you know, you, you get your stride. So we're on our way to Wikiwa, I, I don't know if it's Wikiwa or Wikiwa. Wikiwa? Somebody who lives in Florida is going to tell us the correct way to pronounce it. We live it. in Florida, so we should know the correct way, but I've we don't. I've heard people pronounce it both ways. But we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go with Wikiwa. Let's do it. Let's just State decide. Park. And uh, we're excited. We've got a gorgeous campground. We are actually have two different campgrounds. We're at one place for two nights. And, and then, then across the street. Across the street for three nights. So it's a real quick, simple move. And they've got springs and uh, hiking trails and bicycle riding trails. So we're excited. We're really excited. We're in Kissimmee. Kissimmee, Kissimmee. Well, that's Kissimmee. where we're at right now. But yeah. we're going to a popka. A popka. I like that name. So we did pack all kinds of food. We got burgers. What do we have? We got burgers. We got sausage. We've got Fear Factor challenges and cans. Hot dogs. We got Costco hot dogs. We got cheese. We got pork rinds. Eggs. Some keto bricks. Some keto chow. We brought keto chow just in case. Oh, we brought ground beef to make chili. Chili. And we brought some pork sausage to make chili. I'm excited about and the food bacon now it is currently 3 52 in the afternoon and i have not eaten yet have you uh i had three slices of chicken breast i got like that uh chicken breast from costco or bk's sam's. or sam's club it was sam's club it was so, their brand yep yeah, so i got that along what did you with think the, about it it's really really good and uh it's very clean ingredients so that was really good so i had a couple i had like three slices of that chicken breast uh, with two pieces of Swiss cheese. And that was in the Maker's Mark line of yep. food. That's their brand. Here's home sweet home. Now can this guy back it in? That's the tough part. Well, good morning. Good morning. So we got here yesterday and uh, we were a little bit late and we didn't get here till like almost five o'clock, right? And this was our first time setting up. Yeah, we didn't have a problem setting up the camper, but we added these things called pop-up gizmos, which are these like tarps that go over the ends and they're supposed to reflect the sunlight so it doesn't heat up inside the camper and also help insulate. They work really well, but... Don't have uh, great directions. Well, they don't have really good directions. We also really don't need them much for reflecting the sunlight because we're in the middle of the woods. Amazing, in Florida. We did not know these kind of areas of Florida existed. 
But yeah, because of that, it took us a little bit longer to set up than we thought it was going to. So we ended up stopping the camera because I was getting frustrated. I think we did pretty good. Like I honestly was going to buy a shirt that said, I'm sorry for what I said while we were trying to put up the camper, but we didn't need it. Like I thought we got along really well and that was a non-scale victory for sure. Yeah. I mean, it was a learning experience because the, we didn't get a chance to play with the pop of gizmos before we left because they literally arrived the day before we left. So now we know how to put them on. No problem. They're super easy once you actually figure it out. And then we also had a problem with our gray water line, which is the line that comes out of the motorhome that has like your soapy water and stuff. I had a hose and it was only a half inch hose and it really needed a 5 8 inch hose. There wasn't enough pressure to get it out. So I had to run to Walmart and get another hose. Thank you, but Walmart. We got everything set up. We had a great night. It was cozy. We, what did we eat for dinner? We ate a Costco hot dog. We ate one of those bacon cheddar hamburgers. My favorite burger. We had one of those cheddar bratwursts or whatever they are that we got from Costco. Which were or no, awesome. from Sam's Club, right? Which were awesome, but um, I was reminded- Beware of hot cheese. Hot cheese. I hadn't dealt with hot cheese like that since I was a little kid. And you would make those hot dogs that had cheese inside of it. And as soon as you bit into it, it was like explosion of like molten lava. Yeah, and then we also had a couple of eggs. It was good. So it's Monday morning. We're going to go on a bike ride. So why don't you guys join us? Now I do have this new camera. It's called an Insta 360 One R. It's like a modular camera system. I have no idea how to use this thing. I know that you basically turn it on and it takes a 360 picture, but it comes down to the editing. So we're going to video with this and hopefully you guys get to see some footage of these gorgeous campgrounds. Have a turkey here. He's a baby, or he's tiny. Not very big for dinner. What are you doing? Laundry. <laughs> you're on vacation, you're not supposed to do laundry. Yes, but I cannot stand the thought of six day old um, wet clothing. Okay, we're getting foggy, hold on. I loved this thing. It's kind of a workout too. So yesterday on our way up here, we stopped by Gander Mountain because Gander Mountain is about an hour and a half from us, but it was on the way. And it was funny, I went in there to get sheets for Rachel and I was wearing this hat, Bass Pro Shops. And the girl's like, I'll trade you hats. Can you please take off the Bass Pro Shops hat and I'll give you a Gander hat. It's like, I'll take the Gander hat, but I'm not giving up my Bass Pro Shop. So we found the water. We did find the water. So we're gonna go, first we're gonna go for a kayak. That'll kind of ease us into the 72 degree water. Joe gets very cold in a cold swimming pool. So yeah, we're gonna go for a little kayak ride and then after that, we're gonna just go swimming for a while.
it called? I mean, I did get a little sunburnt yesterday, but I'm not in pain. No. I'm not hurting anywhere. <laughs> good morning. Gonna... Good morning. It is Tuesday. It's moving day. Possibly. I hope it's not moving day, but I think it is moving day. It's supposed to be moving day. So we are in site 45. Which we love. Which yes. is awesome. I think it's the best <clears throat> site. And um, I mean, you can see what we have here. And then behind us, we never got a chance to do a walkthrough, but there's nothing behind us. It's just woods behind us. And about a thousand yards that way, there is a hiking trail, but you don't see anybody. I mean, I've seen two people walk through it. So we're moving across the street, which everybody online says is the best site in the camps in the entire campground. But I think that's because of its proximity to the restroom and the shower facilities, which is nice, but I don't mind the walk to have no neighbors in the back of me. Yeah, that one, the site we're moving to backs up to the showers. Now, like it's far enough away that you don't smell the showers and the bathroom and all that <laughs> stuff. But in order for us from where we are to get to the public restrooms you have to walk it's like a circle so you have to walk around and because it's not really nice to walk through somebody's Don't campsite walk through somebody's campsite so for them they're backed up to it for us we have to walk all the way around to get to the showers so I, maybe that's why people say it's the best campsite but i'd rather have nobody behind me me too that's just how i and feel woods. so we are supposed to move directly across the street which is good though it's only across the street because we don't have to like take everything down and pack everything up we're literally just going to walk everything across the street we're going to drop the pop-up like halfway and drive it across just enough that it's safe to move right but i'm not going to collapse the entire thing of course this morning I did not bring my camera with me, but I was going to the restroom, so I was just thinking about going to the restroom. Ran into a four-point buck and two does this morning. <laughs> and you didn't have a camera. And I didn't have a camera. It was amazing, and they were completely unfazed by me. Just sitting there, like, eating grass and looking at me like, hey, what's up? Good morning. So yesterday was awesome. It was so we much fun. We went for a bike ride. Um, kayaking. We went kayaking. How, how long do you think we kayaked? For? I was trying to figure out on our phone. It was over 10 miles. I know that. I know my arms got that message. Yeah, going going the one way was good. And it seemed like we were going against the current. And I don't know if like the wind shifted because it's a very, very, very slow moving. So it's, it's heavily influenced by the wind. And all of a sudden coming back, we were going into the wind. It was funny because, yeah, going out, we were like, this is so easy. I must have, like, the arms of Superman <laughs> because this is so easy for me. But coming back, we were fighting each paddle. Yeah. We're going to go take a nice bike ride through the entire place and stop at the ranger station and say, is there any chance that, like, yeah, Site 45. Can I wash your car, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Can I do your laundry in my bucket? By the way, I hate to admit this, and hopefully Anthony and Sarah do not see it, but we have pooped on these things. I don't know. Oh, I was our like, entire no, marriage. No, we did not. We didn't poop on them. I mean, like we we, we talked bad them. about them. Yes. Made fun of them. Because that sounded terrible. Because because they look ugly, right? I have become huge fans. Huge fans. And I rely heavily on these things. I and mean, this is pretty much what I'm wearing all of camping because they slip on and off. Showers, you have a showers. public shower situation and you definitely want some Crocs. Um, although at the Springs, I've been wearing water shoes mm -hmm. because those are nice too, because all of the water in Florida, lake water is always a mushy, slimy bottom. Mm -hmm. And well, I don't want to- That's like algae. I don't want to touch that though with my feet, even <laughs> if it's healthy. It could be nature, healthy. I don't want to touch it. What you doing? 
enjoying some coffee in a hammock doing nothing. Sounds productive. It is the best kind of productive. So while we're waiting for the people across the street to move out, we're gonna run to Walmart to get some stuff to make keto chow chili. I think it's a better use of our time because just staring and glaring at this poor family across the way like move already is probably not the best use of I our time. I almost went over and said, so check out at one. Uh, when are you planning on actually moving out? Because most of the other people who've checked out like left at nine o'clock, like get moving. I tried to help, but yeah. So why did two crazy ketos move our campsite from there to here? Because somebody wanted to rent our site to pitch a tent for one night. We are definitely resisting the urge to give them the stink eye. Yeah, but it is three o'clock. We got everything done in about an hour and 15 minutes. And in total mom and dad fashion, we went through all of the campsite stuff to see how could we condense? Was there stuff we didn't need? I think the biggest aha moment we have was keep the suitcases in your vehicle. It's, yeah. it's two inches away from I you. I mean, you can see our car is right, right oh, there. Right in right my there, nose hole. Right there. Right there. So yeah, we're gonna keep, especially, now Rachel's mom is coming to visit tomorrow. If she wasn't here, yeah, we would probably just like lay it across the other bed, which is what we've been doing. But now that she's coming, we need more room. We'll just keep everything in there. But it honestly feels so much bigger. I'm gonna enjoy it whether she's here or not. Okay. Like, I, I think it's just gonna be much more spacious. We have a huge rig, we might as well enjoy it. Right. Yeah, so everything got done. We were able to go through things because the two of us think so alike. We were packing things separately for like, what do we need to store in the trailer? So we each had a first aid kit. We each had a bunch of bungee cords. We each had a bunch of ropes. And so what we've done is in moving everything, we condensed. So there's one bungee cord container. There's one giant first aid kit. So now we have more room inside to store more stuff. As much as I didn't want to move, the restroom and showers are right here. Yeah. So kind of a perk. Yeah, because the other one, again, we were over there on the other side of those trees. So to go to the restroom, you had to walk all the way around because there's campsites to a path over there. So we're making some keto chili over an open campfire. We have a cast iron pot here. We started off with a little bit of bacon. Let me move out of the smoke. Oh, now I got shadows, but put some bacon in there. Now we got ground beef and pork. We're browning that up. Then we're going to add our vegetables some spices and instead of using a tomato sauce we're gonna use the tomato basil keto chow okay we got our keto chili going now we're just going to put the lid on it and let it cook for an hour or so so it's been a long day we moved we moved it was moving day we also went on our bike ride this morning and that was like over five miles so we did good I'm kind of impressed it's about what 6 30 right now we're gonna eat our first meal and probably a lot of it. This is just our first bowl. And then when I ran to Walmart to get a couple of things, we got some Rebel Creamery cookies and cream flavor for dessert. Cause we need to have some dessert since we did all of that moving and looking crazy because you wanna like draw some attention, be moving all of your crap from one campsite to across the street across from that the street. campsite. We look and crazy. meanwhile, the people that took our spot literally are here for one night and they're in a tent. They're oh. not even in an RV. I'll like trade you. <laughs> okay, here's what we're eating. We're eating chili. This is our keto chow chili. I'm going in. We're gonna put a video up here and there's a recipe linked down below. And this is ground beef, bacon, um, pork sausage, wow. some onion, green pepper, red pepper, some cumin. What else did I put in there? Chili powder. Oh my gosh, it's good. <laughs> we didn't have any monk fruit sweetener, which is what my recipe usually used. So we used liquid sucra or liquid Splenda, which liquid Splenda is fine. It's the powdered Splenda that's not good. Oh. And then the tomato base is tomato basil keto chow. I cannot believe that we don't have tomato paste in here. No, no tomato at all. No added tomatoes, no tomato paste. That keto Let's chow see how this is working hard. I love that. We don't even make regular chili anymore. This is how we make our chili because it's lower in carb than our regular keto chili because 
we're, we're not adding any tomatoes. We're just using keto chow, tomato, and basil. And it's easy to pack because yeah. you just put them in like a Ziploc baggie, a scoop of it. And that was way easier than trying to, you know, bring tomato jars and yep. things like that. Or yep. getting buying tomatoes and bringing them. So we're going to finish eating this. We're going to eat our ice cream. And then we're going to relax the rest of the night. I forgot to mention when we went to Walmart, Anthony turned us on to this stuff. If you are a southerner, yes, who loves sweet tea, that's me, and misses sweet tea, which sometimes listen, I, I'm not born and raised in the south, but I consider myself a southerner at this point. I've been here for 26 years. Have you been grandfathered in? I'm grandfathered in because I'm married to a southerner. I love sweet tea, but of course, we can't have sweet tea anymore. This stuff you're gonna swear you're drinking sweet tea we get it from walmart it's 99 cents anthony turned it on to us if you don't mind sucralose yeah that's what it's sweetened with the ingredients in this are filtered water fresh brewed tea and sucralose that's it this stuff is amazing it's actually really sweet i came home with 12 of them sunday monday tuesday wednesday it's day four i could get used to living like this here's the thing though I knew that being out six days and five nights, we were going to generate some laundry. Pause. Right there. Wet laundry. Pause. So, you know how we're always saying like, hey, we found this really cool product, like the Berkey or, you know, yeah. different kitchen gadgets, things like that. And it's really cool. And so if you're interested, we there's a link down below. We're about to tell you about a product that we highly advise do not buy this item and it is this thing which you're supposed to be able to do your laundry with and i saw a bunch of people online that are using this instead of a washing machine like they don't even have a washing machine in their house and when you go on amazon there were two versions there was this version and there was another version the one version had like three stars this one had like 5,000 reviews with five stars. Who is starring this? Everybody who's probably being given one for free if you give them a five-star review. But This thing is garbage and doesn't work. And I mean, it, has, it is a workout. So you put your laundry and your laundry soap in the bucket and you're like, you, you're the agitator. Right. Maybe I'm not agitating enough. It's supposed to re replace like an old fashioned washboard. I was going to go buy Rachel a washboard until we saw this. No, until what we just to replace this, we were going to buy a washboard. But let me tell you. So what happened was another problem for us here is it is so hot and moist here. Humid. Your clothing, even if you wash it, never really gets dry. Yeah, it's not drying, hanging up, even though it's been hanging up all day. So our clothes were smelling like rat butt. So here I was doing a lot of like arm laundry, looking like a crazy person. And I think the clothes smelled worse, worse. after she washed them than before she washed them. So bad. So we thought, well, maybe we'll go to a coin laundry because I am afraid to let it go a couple more days because it'll be terrible. We'll just throw them out right. going home. And we found there was a coin laundry that does a full wash and fold service. You can drop it off and like pick it up tomorrow. I mean, we had heavy, wet laundry. It probably weighed five extra pounds just because the towels were wet. Fifteen dollars. A dollar a pound. This costs like almost thirty. I, my, here's my personal opinion. Let's tell the boys, hey, for now on, you're in charge of your own laundry, and then I will just allow you, so long as it's only yeah. our laundry, you never wash, have to wash clothes again. Dry. Just take them to this lady. Fold. A dollar a pound? Are you kidding me? I figure it would have taken, it. we'll just, let's go minimum. Yeah. Let's say one load of wash, and I figure it was, I feel like it was two, but we're going to say we, we crammed everything into one wash and crammed everything into one dry. That would have been $5. At plus least. Plus an hour to wash it and an hour to dry because you got to sit there and do all that. And the laundry detergent, you got to buy well, that. Let's even take that out. Two hours, what is your time worth? Well, if minimum wage is $10 an hour minimum, right? 
So that's $20 plus the $5 and you still have to fold it. So let's say that's another half hour. So two and a half hours, that's $25 plus $5 for the actual washing and drying in the machine. It would have cost us what, 25 bucks, 30 bucks? Seriously. It cost us 15. So I figure I just saved $15 I, by paying somebody else to do our laundry. And I don't have to continue with the Colonial Williamsburg experience. So just to remind you. Don't do it. Don't buy this thing. Don't be deceived by the 5,000 five-star reviews. Who says keto meals can't be done while you're camping? So fast. Look at this. We've got the sausages from Sam's Club. We've got a burger topped with chili and peppers and onions. Then we have Aldi's shave steak, or Aldi, shave steak with more peppers and onions. This is Joe's plate because while he was uh, plating his own, I started eating mine. So it is Thursday morning, like 10 o'clock. Yeah. We're getting a late jump. We are, but we relaxed. Usually we're up and like so much activities, but it was nice to just kind of laze around and take the morning at our own slow temperature. I don't think we've ever done that before. It's rare. It's seriously, it's almost like when you're sick. <laughs> when you're sick, you allow yourself to have a full morning and however long the morning lasts, the morning lasts. If it's till noon, that's okay. When have you ever done that when you were sick? I mean, sometimes, but bad sick. So it was nice to be well yeah. <laughs> and be able to do it at my own pace. So it's 10 o'clock. Um, I finished editing a video. We're gonna try to find some place, like a Starbucks or something, where I can just sit long enough to upload it. Some place that's got free Wi-Fi. Problem is, is a lot of places are closed to going inside because of COVID. Uh, and also we're gonna drive over to a place called Kelly Park, which is a county park. It's an orange county park. It's only four miles down the road and they've got camping. It's supposed to be really nice. And the funny part is, is they share the same waterway that this park shares, but you're not allowed to go in the water over there right now because of COVID. COVID! Apparently COVID only likes the water that begins there. By the yeah. time it gets to us, it's fine. Yeah, but the thing about their water is they actually have like a tubing run. Maybe that's why it's yeah. closed, but you can't even go in with your own tube. It would be hard to social distance if you have like a parade of people in a lazy river. Yeah, but we do want to go check out the campgrounds because again, it's only four miles away. So if they're really nice campgrounds, we're thinking maybe our next trip will camp there and then we can just drive over here to go in the water because it's only four miles away and we have free access to get into this park. So it's Thursday lunch slash dinner. It is 3.45, so we'll probably be eating again, but. And I put in a request for keto chow chili again because it was so stinking good. Okay, the only thing is, is we didn't have any peppers and we didn't have any onions and I didn't have any pork sausage, so this is some ground beef with bacon, some keto chow chili, or the keto the keto chow uh, tomato and basil. Tomato basil. All of the spices and then a little bit of the leftover chili that we had the other day. Then we put that on top of one of the Sam's Club bacon and cheddar burgers. Also, one of the Costco hot dogs and then we have one slice of bacon there my favorite part of packing up is the last shower right before you leave i absolutely think that you should budget time for a shower after you pack up because sweaty yeah so it is 10 45 we're gonna hit the road just a little early i mean we don't have to check out till one but we do have a three hour ride home i know anthony decided that he was going to go to universal studios caleb was going out to work and stuff so we want to get home at a reasonable hour. But this was a great trip. We had so much fun. We definitely learned some things of what we want to bring and what we don't want to bring on our future camping trips. Yeah, absolutely. And we had an awesome time. You know, the best part was we had like no rain up until last night after we were already in the trailer or in, in the camper. In bed, it was in so bed. nice. So like that's part of the camping experience, right? You wanna feel like, oh, listen to the rain falling, but not get wet. Yeah. I don't wanna get wet. So we had awesome weather through the whole time. Thank but you, Lord. We are going to get in the car, which is right over there. We're gonna hit the road and we're gonna get ready for our next camping trip, which is in just nine days. I can't believe it. So make sure you wash all your clothes and pack because we're going back on the road very soon. Now, leave a comment down below if you like to camp and if you've ever camped in Florida, what are some of the camping places that you like to go to? Now, if you like videos like this, 
check out some of the videos that we're gonna link right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over there. Whether you head here or you head there, don't forget to head here. Subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we go on an adventure, you'll be alerted to it. I'm gonna get in the car because I'm sweaty. Bye. Bye.